Alright. Let's get going. You know who I am already. I've said it for 60 some videos. Power up. Let's see. Swords are good. Guns are fine, but I want to level you up because I feel like it. That and I like you. <laughs> You're a great way to kill a bunch of enemies. And speaking of a bunch of enemies... Yeah. First off. Wanted to grab the orb. And now for some fun times. Alright. Now I'm kind of happy I upgraded you. Because this is a timed fight against a bunch of enemies. And right now, all I need is power. Although this is a way better level to grind on than the other one. It might take you two tries to do this. Only because of the fact that one try can get you double trigger, the other try can get you a level up, or the other try will get you the level done. Yeah. There isn't that much to say about this other than keep it close eye on the time. If you don't, and you try this, you will wind up getting screwed over by it. I don't feel like using too much double trigger, because if I do, I'm going to wind up getting screwed over by it. Yeah. Alright. Here's the second wave. And they try to attack you with a biscuit. Keep hacking, slashing, and shooting. This, this is essentially all that this game is. Ah, crap. Wave 3. Combination of waves 1 and 2. Rotham Syrahs and Agonophenesis. Or Abyscoats. So, there isn't that much to say about it other than, again, watch the time. That and watch your health. Then again, if you have the uh, orb thing, the healing thing like me, you won't ever have to worry about health again. game, together with the power of health use, is really simple. And five seconds left. I did that. That's kick-ass. Although, I think I actually should have done something else. Here it is. Something comes out of here. And that's what you should have done. <laughs> as soon as the eye thing opened up, you were supposed to get that. But I didn't, and I feel stupid for it. I think that was something called the Chrono Heart. Where when you use it, your time slows down. Anyways, mission 16. Power up. I didn't even get that high of health. Since this is a hack and slash game, I'm not going to show off the two swords. Because they play exactly the same as Dante's normal sword. 
The only difference is the uh, need for bitch choking is a little bit greater with this one. Alright. This is a great place to gain combos. Somehow. I don't know how yet. Something tells me it'll come to me in time. Tells me this game was supposed to be a little bit better. But like Mega Man X6, it was a clusterfuck. Train wreck. Alright. Before I go there, I'm going to check out what's up these stairs. Because usually stairs lead to something. And now word from us kids. Actually. And now, to check every single one of these and make sure that each one doesn't have a single thing inside. Yeah. Alright. It doesn't. So now we move on. <coughs> Another elevator segment. But this one was royally easy. This is the place. Are you ready? Showtime! Booyah, motherfucker! Yeah. Now then, on to the next area. Break stuff. And check back here, because always something good towards the camera. Circle. Shoot! It's a little bit late, but I just realized I missed a secret room right behind Argus's chair. Exit, items, nothing viable worth my time. Break this for life. You got life. You got this thing. Random door is random. Only way to tell if any door you can find is worth your time is by checking them. Now then. I'm wasting time here. Now we must move on to next room. Ooh, look, a lion's head. I bet you're going to be important later. Ooh, look! A lion's head. Ooh, look. Ah, crap. This room sucks. Because... of the constant use of these. If you hit one like that, you'll wind up in here. Although that's good for experience, it wastes your time and also poison you. Alright. This game gives several opportunities to grind. Oh crap.
Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, g you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna fly. <laughs> as soon as I get the chance to. I'm going to fly my way out of this room. And by the way, the only way to get out of these is to kill the Savage Golem, I think. Fun of a sitch! Now the Savage Golem is going to re... No, this one's going to respawn. It's going to rebuild itself. Okay. Yeah. There. Kill the two Savage Golems. And now I'm going to fly. Mainly because I don't feel like doing this anymore. And then he realized there's no way to get across this other than normally going. Actually, it's just easier to go normal. I know there's a secret room in here, too. I just don't remember where exactly. And I think I know a better way to do this other than flight. Status. Item. No. Equip. Amulets. Quick heart. Alright. By the way, these little orbs do not go for the area you need to get to. Ugh. Fucking balls. The balls, man, the balls. Well, at least there's a plus side to this. Editing will cut it all out, probably. Depending on how I'm feeling this day. That I edit. Alright. Not options. Status. I have a better idea. Son of a balls! Apparently that was not a good idea. I was going to try and fly between, so I never got hit. But that didn't work. After this, I'm just gonna cut. Fuck it. It's not worth your time or mine. But I'm still gonna record, in case I say something funny or stupid. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, by the way, real quick. Uh, enemies can kill each other. Okay, now I'm going to cut. Fuck your cock!
Uh, that's it. It's useful for nothing else. It's going to be useful here. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Motherfucker! Thank you. Now I will never have to worry about this area again. Except for this. There wasn't a secret room in here, there was just a blue orb. And probably a secret room. But look, Dante has two life bars which was the style back then. <laughs> now things have gotten more warped and twisted than normal. Pyromancer, big distrancer. All right. Right. <laughs> this is so fun. It's so easy to kill you all. It's just pathetic. kind of happy now that I upgraded this. Because it's so easy to kill these guys. It's, again, it's pathetic. Now for pointless backtracking. boss now. You again! Reused boss fights! Only in Devil May Cry 2. Not actually. They reuse boss fights in Devil May Cry 1 too, but it's a little bit better. Ouch. Don't hit me into the life, please. Essentially, the boss fight is exactly the same. The only difference is the room. Then the guy might slightly be stronger, but once enemies become normal, it's kind of pointless to put them in the boss or boss category. 
like someone else I'm going to show off later. Ouch. Okay. I might need that life. Hey look, I've killed all your friends. But, for the fun, the show must go on. As I say, the show must go on. I remember you using that attack. Yeah. Because I feel like it, I'm using this on you. And since one third health, I no longer have to care about any moves you decide to use. Not to mention that. Are you finally dead meat? Yes, you are. Awesome. Now, what might you be? A new item, perhaps? A new heart? No! An old heart. Or an old-looking heart. Okay. How the hell do I get this thing off the ceiling? Or is it just a light? Yep, it's just the lights. Now to go and place the sacrilege in the lion door. And make this world even more distorted. I didn't know they were so high technical in the underworld. They have so many rooms existing in the same space. It's like that one episode of Fast Forward Ninja Turtles. I'm only killing these guys for sport. They're highly unnecessary. At least now you know where you have to go. This is where is actually a good idea to go. Wait a minute. I just went the wrong way. This is the exact same room. No difference. Alright. Time to drop through here. Biscuits, you know the drill. Kill by messing him. You know, I'm missing probably like one or two different hearts. No, I don't. I forgot that in order to get one of them, you actually need to head back through a mission. Okay, I don't know why I'm still here. Oh, right. The sacrilege. I think. Yep, sacrilege. Secret room? Nope. Sacrilege. <laughs> Alright. 
This level has brought me a ton of orbs. Seriously. I might just buy the blue orb from the store. Next time. And by the way, I don't know why I still have the sacrilege. But now we've been zapped some random spot. We have to fight this douche. Hey look, it's the first fighting boss that talks, that's a demon. How does it feel? You're special. And your name? I don't... I can't read. Try Sagia. <sighs> you can't damage them in this form, I don't think. If you can, pardon me for giving you bad information. I think you have to damage the firehead. For this round. Nope. Can't damage them at all. bosses are also weak and pathetic. That may be you. They're actually pretty nice. There. 27 minutes into the video. So I am not cutting anything out. Hey, look, the right one. I think the head that's that doesn't like go transparent is actually the one you have to choose to hit. Alright. Dropped him down to over three quarters health lost. And I think the fire head you have to hit this time. Yep. Otherwise, I would have killed it. Ouch. I might actually have to use an item on this guy. Odd because I don't really use items much on bosses. But as I say, the show must go on. And end with a bang. Thirty minutes in. All because of my little snafu. Oh yes, here's the room. Nope. Real quick, I'm gonna check something and I'll cut back here. Yeah! <laughs> 
Alright, so you do have to put that back in. For what reason, though? What evil lies in here that needs to have that? This has not changed. You have. You have not. So the only thing that has changed is the enemies in this room. I don't lose myself in this. Alright. Not the place I need to go to. I don't even know. Let's just move on. forces, but the end of the mission. And we're back. Didn't really need to do that. All it did was change the room a little bit. And I don't know exactly what it leads to, so I'm not going to look. Anyways... Next mission is, I believe, mission 17 or 18. One of the two. So we're going to tackle that next time. This is Itawatch, signing out.